What's up guys, this is a Raid Shadow Legends free to play 2024 video. How you guys doing? I am so much more excited that I finally set up my area to be able to record this way. Uh, basically because I feel it's so much more personal uh, having someone in the screen. Actually even for me it's easier to record, right? Because uh, I feel like I'm talking to you guys instead of just having the microphone in front of me. Uh, if you guys know, since I started the free to play, actually a week or so before it, I was actually really sick. So now it's the first time I was able to set up. As you see, I haven't shaved shaved for like two weeks, so I, I don't know if I'm going to fully shave, but I'm probably going to trim at least a little bit, look more decent. But I realized yesterday I was setting up the area and everything, and if I didn't start the video now if i wait to shave it wouldn't get done right so just bear with me enjoy the beard let me know what you think should i okay let me know what you guys think should i actually shave it completely or should i just stream or i don't know should i just grow i mean at some point i had a long beard uh just let me know what you guys think i love it all right so um the reason i'm doing this video uh one is because I needed to test uh, everything, how I'm going to be doing videos right now. Also, if you guys don't know, we're going to have a stream tomorrow, 12 o'clock EST, Eastern Standard Time. All right. I'm in New York City, so it's easier for me to keep track. I don't get all messed up. Uh, so anyway, so we're going to be having that stream. But I've been watching every single creator uh, that is in the competition and looking how they're doing things and some stuff that they were not sure if they're doing right on the most near creators also people that are competing uh not in the creator side right so one of the things i heard and that's what we're gonna hit right now is faction wars right so as you guys see i have a few of them that i got 11 stars and all and do, all those things are points for the competition right the one i have the highest Sure, gonna be Dark Elf because I start with Kel. So I had to I had a better chance to build him. He's level 60 right now, he's six start, so much easier for me to set up. But as you guys see, I went this far because I couldn't really build a whole team for him, right? Uh, I had to concentrate and actually get decent uh champions into level 50 and everything else I use as food. And that being said, that's the same thing as I did with Barbarian, right? I only got two stars because I didn't have anything besides uncommons, but that's basically what I'm fighting with. This is food, but since I have five Barbarian foods, future foods, I should say, what I'm doing is I'm gearing down a little bit. Yeah, it's a little heavy in silver, in the most when, you know, you're, you're playing free to play, so you can't spend anything. But as you guys see, I got at least two stages. What doesn't seem to be that much, but let me say by the end of the day, uh, before the restart, before it changes, I should have then at least in a half decent level that probably can get me like a couple of three stars and even like one stars up to six. And then by the end of the day, as soon as it restarts or I'm done with them, they'll probably be fed to someone else. Shadow King, I didn't have anything. But one of the reasons why I do that is it gets me points in the competition. And second, I start getting even like a three, a rank three chicken. That helps a lot when you're trying to start an account, right? So that's pretty much how I've been running. Sacred Order, have eight, you know. That's how I've been running um, Faction Wars right now. And it's not a bad way. You spend some silver, but overall, it's worth it, right? Now, Arena, it's been fun. I've been pretty much like bouncing between Silver 4 and Gold 1. The main reason for that is I don't have the champions to actually fight like and everybody uses some Wukong that's not say unfair but it's rough you know what I mean so in here 
I could go against one of them, but I probably gonna lose. Honestly, at this point, you just go for these pickings, right? This one, not too bad. He got a few people I should worry about, but hey, look at that. Yes, I'll go against her. You know, that's it. Makes it easy for me, sure. But, you know, not too bad. Let me move myself a little now. I'm like half invisible. Not half, but, you know. Anywho, all right, so this done. All right, I'm back to gold one. And that's what I'm telling you guys. Look at this. Look how bad it is. I can't beat those guys. I mean, by in like a couple of days, less than a week. Yeah, I'm going to have no problems doing that. But as of right now, not going to happen. Right? Okay. So let's see what else. Dungeons. Dungeons. Um, they going to start being my focus this week. Actually, I have to hit a little bit before it closes in 39 minutes. And I'll even go through that so I don't risk losing. Uh, because I do need a couple of pots for my new uh, Lego. So, as you guys know, we can only use Legos for like 7 days or uh, Fusions and stuff like that right shards we, well not shards like a uh, piece shard pieces right we cannot actually use if we pull them from shards so it's it's rough like this first fusion uh not fusion those fuck shards it's gonna be impossible um i've been pretty much collecting all but by the point we actually start the competition uh because of the novice tournament we were not actually able to get all the way so not gonna happen. I really don't believe so. Um, but the next one, it's a chance. You know what I mean? And that would be like a game changer to have a Lego on your team, even if that's not like a top tier one, because it is what it is. You know, your uh, your HP gonna be higher, attack usually gonna be higher, defense, all that stuff. So even if they're, they're not the best, they work. You know what I mean? So let's see how this fight goes. Come on. I need two more uh, potions, right? Um, from this dude. So for me to be able to get three star. And let me tell you, I got to show you guys. I actually lucked out and I actually was able to awaken him. Uh, not too good. I'll come back later. But yeah, so I actually really lucked out. And I was able to get a one awakening here. And I decided to get Soul Reaper. Now, how do I, how did I get that? Well, <laughs> lucky you got to check the market. So I went to the Soul Merchant. And guess what? One star right here. Perfect. I hadn't bought anything because nothing uh, from no of the, none of the champions I had showed up in here. So I had enough to actually get this dude. What is really good. So, this being said, all right. So, yeah, uh, when we go to campaigns, campaigns, I've been pretty much like leveling my guys in Brimstone Path. Uh, but I'm actually in Nightmare right now. What I probably. So, I had some problems passing even with four champions from Felwing's Gate. And basically, it's because I have miscreated Monster. Uh, that was my epic of choice, and I have Kyle. What it means their affinity is just really wrong for this guy. So now um, I should six store my sword, uh, sword master, blade master. I should uh, six store him like probably by later today, uh, or maybe early tomorrow. So I should be able to just go straight through this, and that should be really good. Uh, clan bosses, clan bosses, I can one key right now, normal and easy, pretty piss cake right now for me, hard, um, I haven't done hard, let me run hard right now with you guys, so the thing with hard for me, right, so I have this guy, he's a burner, I gotta keep him, I want to keep my poisoner, now, this dude, this guard, he's really good, he has a decreased attack, what helps, has a shield, 
has increased defense, but I feel I may actually get more points, and that's something you gotta test. You know, I know how Haiti showed that you can run, and like if you don't like the score, you just shut down and go back and before the end and you have back the key. But I'll just go straight. Anyway, uh, we're not actually killing the boss at this point because not many people actually are being able to actually fight him as of now. What probably gonna change in the next couple of days. So let's see how that goes. And let me try to not out to this thing because. Oh, the other thing too, damage for him, much better to do with poisons, burns, and I got the burn. Let me see if I got more poisons. Now let me hit this dude. Uh, not that great. Fifth, right? Fifth. Number numero cinco. That's, that's what you want right now. The fifth attack. That's what really causes damage. So what I'm going to try to do now is like take his defense down. Instead of using the last. All right. Defense down. Good. Nice attack. And protect my guys. Yeah, it doesn't really heal, so that's all right. <laughs> Keep that defense down. Okay. More poisons. One, that's okay. Let it burn. So far, so good. You know what? Let me let it run on auto. I mean, I'm going to get about the same. Uh, I just want the beginning to try to hit on the right times. A couple of things. So let's see how that how they do. That's the thing, I don't have a good healer. I mean, miscreated monster is all right, but I need someone that is actually a healer right now. That's what I need my team. Uh, and the most if I was able to get like uh, no damage buff, that would be amazing. But you know, beggars can't be choosers, but never know. I mean, some people are pulling some crazy. I mean, odd game, odd game, freaking, oh my God. YST, I don't know what he pulled right now, but I know that uh, MTG Jedi, uh, Deadwood Jedi, those guys are pulling some massive uh, epics, and actually they pulled Legos that they're gonna have to use as chickens, what is sad, but yeah, I mean, I, I pulled some good ones, but pretty much like my teams, I'll show you guys, this is not bad, um, if I show you guys like what mostly people are pulling, it's like, Wow, yeah, those guys are pulling pretty hefty now. I need to step up my game. I need to get my six stars. So, okay, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, I actually was really lucky uh, this morning. And I pull, uh, pulled Missiliac Prishorn. So, great dude, but if you guys realize, like, I have poisons. I mean, I have poisons all day. You know what I mean? Like, I can probably, as soon as I level this dude, like, dragon, you're dead. Like, just poison, non-stop. Just destroying this dude. But, <laughs> it's it's kind of rough. Uh, it's really rough. Like, right now, that's all I have. I need, I need some heavy healer. That's what I need. Okay? Vasiliak, don't take me wrong. In the most, like, long term, because the competition is three months. He's gonna be great. Like, join, put him in Altar. I can pick pretty much like what clan boss uh, affinity is. Just that's who's gonna go, you know, and do the killing. Like, perfect. I have three different affinity poisoners. That's perfect. But it's just right now, it's not helping me that much. All right. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing, too. Some people are making that mistake. Uh, I've seen creators making that mistake. Mine. If you're in the competition, 
right? Even as a community, do not open the mine. And basically, the reason for that is mine is something that is long term. You won't really get returns from what you spent until like, I guess, like close to six months. Even if that was three months, like you start getting returns when the competition is done. So stay away from the mine right now. Now, if you're a new player, yes, open the mine. Not a bad thing. Uh, eventually, you will be getting the returns needs, and you're just gonna, you know, it's just like putting uh, putting money on savings. That's that's really what it is. So, yeah, market. One thing I usually do, I actually was a little unlucky they had a shard in here that i wanted right an ancient shard but what i usually do is i'll open those first eight right and when i see something that i have interest down here and it can be even you know a special uncommon like outlaw monk or something then i'll open it's not bad uh, i think the highest cost like 80 shards now those last two i'll wait when i see like you know an ancient chart for example popping up in here then i'll go and open uh until then if that's a free to play account i just roll with that and that's fine because honestly market's kind of overrated like they need to fix this thing right now i mean yeah because i need food I may buy like Duelist, for example, just to feed another champion, but it's not that great. Anywho, all right, challenge. Challenge, pretty much like almost done. This, it will happen. I don't have to worry about. Uh, those, I hate those missions because, so I don't agree with like three, four star and high artifact sets because there are a lot of artifacts that you know they're like four pieces so i think it should be like full sets so like if you have a four and a two you got it you know what i mean those three not really it may be speed but it it always depends on which champion you're putting that stuff on right dungeons yeah dungeons uh getting close enough but i feel the moment i can actually get stage 13 is what should be by this coming up week it shouldn't be a problem actually i feel gonna be pretty easy but i gotta have to wait for when each one of those opens so if i'm lucky by sunday i should be able to get void and that's a big deal because this thing it's only on sunday so you know what i mean try to get this as soon as i can uh arena i'm already in gold one uh right now it's just you know get better champions uh to be able to fight in here i feel like arena for every creator gonna be hard and i feel gonna be harder for bigger creators because those guys are used to like pay to win accounts okay they're wells they are krakens and the problem with that is they're gonna have to play with only epics for the most part so some of them will have problems not saying I, I feel it's this competition is great for everybody because a lot of times you're gonna use a champion that you never thought about him for like the last five years so yeah anyway you, you guys know what i'm talking about um geez my hat keeps going up it's just my hair is long but it's wet so it's it looks weird on camera right now didn't have time to get it dry all right there you go more than you wanted to know okay let's move on <laughs> all right forge uh i will be forging some stuff in here uh i've been actually i find oh yeah i so i finally was able to pass the hardest stage of doom tower at this point of the game for me and that was seven the seventh floor i could not pass the same i've been doom tower for days and I could not pass. Today, I lucked out. Uh, couldn't do automatic. I had to do manual. And I did. I tried manual before. But like this time, I just, boom, went through. And as soon as I passed, I had no problems flying right above. 
uh, secret rooms. I don't have enough champions for that. So, but hopefully, oh, it's one day. Maybe by tomorrow I can get some secret rooms. I should be able to, let's see, one. Yeah, I should be able to get those two, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, should be fine. But yeah, so the first thing I did was just farm Fatal. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. But guess what? I'm doing it. It's, you know, I, I mean, it's good gear. Um, so yeah, just in this case, in the most early game, just farm everything you can, man. Like, if you can... Oh, I can't go higher in the faction wars. Not a problem. Just farm whatever you can. You need better equipment because the stuff you're getting in the most leveling characters, trying to get more to level 60 so you can go higher and be able to fight higher dun dungeons, you need to level characters. And you're definitely not leveling then at the dungeons. So you're not getting better equipment, right? So the way for you to do it is forge materials. All right? So, but now, as I say that, I'm probably this weekend going to be farming. Uh, I should be to a decent point. Yeah, I should be investing more and getting more to level 60, but I'm probably going to farm a little bit of uh, the dungeons. And the most dragon to get life steal. And I may start working on Ice Golem to get Curse Set. So, yeah, wish me luck. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what what do you have curiosity of uh, about this challenge uh, or about the game itself or anything? What do you guys want me to talk about? All right, in the next video. And again, don't forget, 12 o'clock EST tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming from here. Thank you very much, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the game.